as a young lad, as a teenager, a wee little boy, all my friends sort of started getting into relationships. They started going out with other people. They all started moving on as I was left behind. And to be honest, it all came down to the fact that I didn't know how to talk to women. That was it. I was so nervous, so scared of rejection, I had so much fear and anxiety that I just didn't know how to talk to women or how women wanted me to talk to them. How to make them interested. I always ended up being boring. Thankfully, after a while and, you know, a couple years, I've grown up, I've learned a lot more experience, I've learned to become more confident, and I learned how women actually want you to talk to them, how to talk to women. Thankfully, over time, I did learn this. Hopefully, in this video, I want to reveal to you all the stuff that I learned, the experiences, to get you to the same position I am way, way faster than it took me, because it took me literally years. So hopefully, this video can help you out. First things first, I want to mention it straight away in this video that I will not be talking about physical looks. However, physical looks do play a part. In this video, I'm only going to be talking about how to talk to women, how women want you to talk to them, and how to actually become more confident in talking to women. I'm not going to talk about the physical looks because that is such a bigger video that I will make in the future by itself, how to improve your physical attractiveness. However, your looks do play a part. They are very, very important when it actually becomes to being attractive. Your looks are very important. So before you're talking to this girl that you like, just make sure that you're looking your best. You know, you've actually got a skincare routine so your face is clear. Your shoulders are back so you're not hunched over and you look kind of awkward. Just make sure you look the best. I will go in in future like a full guide about this, but this video just about confidence. Fortunately enough, I was able to have a father figure, a masculine father figure in my life who taught me a lot of the things that I needed. I understand though that a lot of people don't have that. A lot of guys didn't have that and if that's the case for you, I'm sorry. Hopefully that I can teach you the things that I learned. And what my father taught me is that fortune favours the bold. When you are with this girl that you like, whether it's a very long-term crush or whether it's this attractive girl that you've just seen in the coffee shop or in the market or wherever it is, you've just seen her and you think, damn, she's kind of bad though. <laughs> like you've just seen her and she's quite attractive and you want to go up and say something. Whether it's a long-term crush or someone you've just seen, even though you are scared, you are nervous, you're anxious, you have this fear in your heart, you need to gather up all the courage and confidence you have and just take the action. Just say something. You see, you don't need to feel 100% to talk to someone. Confidence or courage is feeling that fear, but doing it anyway. The fear of rejection, but you still get up and say something. Confident, courageous men are attractive. If you've got a guy who's sort of talking quietly, is he's very his body language is very closed in. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a pussy basically, compared to a guy who actually gathers up his confidence and just takes action and says something. The guy who is courageous and confident is comes off as more attractive. You can still talk to women even though you're scared, right? However, that doesn't change the fact that rejection is scary. Rejection is terrifying. That isn't going to change for the first few times. I want you to ask yourself a genuine question, you know, it's just you and me, and uh, I'm not gonna hear your answer, but you know, like, that doesn't matter. It's just you. Ask yourself, how many times have you actually been rejected in person? Maybe two, three, maybe five times? Probably not a lot. Now think about the Chad, the fuckboy, the person that she's actually having sensual, sexual conversations with. How many times do you think the attractive guy has been rejected, who's confident. I guarantee you that that guy has been rejected probably thousands of times, way, way more than you. Yes, rejection is scary, but after the first like 10 to 50 times you've been rejected in person, you come to realize that actually rejection is not too bad. You also will come to learn something else that yes, rejection is scary, but regret hurts so much more. Regretting that you didn't talk to her. Rejection is terrifying, yes, but regret sucks. You know, 
there is a on my very first like sort of coffee job barista job i ever got uh, so it's like one of my very first jobs there was this very very attractive woman who would come in almost every day i'd see her a lot and uh, she was kind of exactly my type she wasn't on her phone she was reading she was always there just literally she was so pretty i never said anything to her every time she came by like i had a male co-worker and he was like come do go talk to her i was like I just looked at him dead in the eye and i was like no but like i was so fucking scared so he would go take her order um and you know out of this whole time i never ever spoke to her and after she left the coffee shop i would then think fuck i should have said something god damn it, i should have said something regret hurts way way more than rejection after your first 50 rejections you come to realize that it's not actually too bad at first yeah it's scary but you eventually learn that she's gonna forget about it and so are you so getting actually down to the nitty gritty how do women actually want you to talk to them and the thing is like the majority of guys will be like saying like oh you know ask her questions pay an interest in her however you've probably done this and you've probably realized that it kind of ends up being almost like an interview it's not very exciting it's kind of just meh you know you're with this girl you finally do all the hard work you get a date with her and then you're asking her like these boring interviewish like kind of questions like oh how was your day today Oh, what's your favourite kind of music? Oh, that's cool. My favourite music is this. Oh, what job do you work at? Oh, that's, that's cool. Uh, what are your future aspirations in this job? Like, very, very boring questions. And the thing is, you've had this conversation and you know 100% that she is bored because you are. You're sat there thinking like, fuck, fuck, I don't know what to say. Oh, think of something. Blah, 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 blah. Like, you don't know what to say. So, what do you do? Tease her. It sounds so simple, but it is so effective. Just tease her. It is way, way more fun and enjoyable than this sort of interview that you're having with her. Just simply tease her. Almost like you're insulting her, but obviously don't just straight up insult her. Don't look at her in the eyes and just be like, ha, you fat bitch. Like, <laughs> don't do that because that would be very, like, that wouldn't go down well. That would go horribly. However, tease her insult her with something that's obviously not true for example you know one of my more recent relationships it was like last summer and it's really really hot it's like the hottest day in england uh and um you know she, she we were sat outside she went inside to go get a glass of water she came back and she was kind of like sweating so i, I just said the first thing that came to my mind i was like oh did you go on a marathon sprint like a little jogging on the spot as you went off to go grab that water why are you sweating so much? Ah, oh, to burn the calories to, you know, look super nice for me. That's so kind. That's so sweet. And uh, she laughed right off. She was laughing. She was like, no, obviously not, you dumbass. Um, but even just that was so much more interesting than me like, oh, how was getting water? Yeah. And the truth is, when it comes down to it, there is an analogy that I absolutely love. And it's the fact that it's the emotional color palette. Guys have sort of like the basic color for our emotions like blue red yellow like the main colors that's kind of like our variety of emotions and women they have such more variety they have the colors but then they've got like a hundred different sub colors in each one they have so many more emotions and it's amazing but if you think about, like, the boring guy who's asking all these interview questions, trying to pay an interest in her, complimenting her, he's only spiking this one emotion, happiness. That's it? And then if you think about the guy who's teasing her, he's insulting her, but, like, in a jokey way, so she's kind of getting annoyed, but then he's also complimenting her. He's also kind-hearted. So she's also happy. She's happy, she's annoyed... He actually paid attention to how he looks, so she's aroused. Like, the guy who is boring versus the guy who's teasing her, who do you think she'll remember more? The guy who's teasing her because he made her feel so many more different things than just happiness. And that's kind of the big difference. 90% of guys are boring, are just focusing on these interview questions, are just asking how her day was, just trying to make her happy. 
whereas the fuckboy as the attractive guy, the Chad, he's making her feel so many more different things. Now, if you can do this, if you can just simply start by teasing her, you'll already be in the top 10% out of all these other guys that she's talking to, because she is. You'll be the one that she's thinking about the most. And ultimately, that's when it, that's all it comes down to. That's what I've learned. When you are with this girl that you like, whether it's a long-term crush or just someone you just saw out this spur moment, just gather up all your courage and say something. You can still say something even though you're scared. And just tease her a little bit. Tease her so it's not boring like an interview and she will think about you way more. It's also way more fun and enjoyable for both her and you. Again, in this video, this was just talking about confidence and I really do hope that I managed to help you when it does come to you actually talking to this crush that you have. Obviously, I haven't talked about looks or like physical attractiveness, but they are very important and they do play a part. So just make sure that you look your best. I will have a future video coming out on the full guide on how you can improve your physical attractiveness because they are very important too. However, this video was just talking about how you can be confident and how women actually want you to talk to them. And I really do hope that this has managed to help you in some way. Another video is going to pop in the corner and you can click on it if you want because it may be able to help you too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. But more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Alright, you know what time it is. Okay, something from a kiss.